Lord, we commit this video into your hand. We bless the message I'm going to say, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let it be a blessing to your people. Let it be edifying, God. We plead the blood all over it, God Almighty. No weapon, no enchantment, no divination. They won't use this at their altar. We tear down, burn down, strike down, cut down, pull down, burn up every evil altar, every evil witch, wizard, and warlock that is watching me on this YouTube. The YouTube witch, wizard, and warlock catch fire and burn to ashes. We strike it with Holy Ghost fire, thunder, lightning in the mighty name of we shut down your device your monitoring device wherever you have them in the northeast west and the south in the heavens and the earth underneath be shut down by the power of the holy ghost and by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth we're losing the fire and the judgment of god upon every witch wizard and warlock and principality of power spiritual love of the spiritual wickedness and place we torment you day and night and give you no rest in jesus mighty name good morning peeps i'm going to be talking about authors and our altar affect our life. We know that altar is one of the stuff that they use to curse people. And there's altar everywhere. They have good one and they have bad one. I'm going to start with good one. Every child of God should have an altar, a place where you meet God. No, you should not be um, putting no blood upon the altar and them something that jesus was a sacrifice lamb he already shed his blood so we stopped doing that that was back in the days of the old testament they used to cut the animal blood and put up on the altar but because of the blood of jesus that speak louder and better than every other blood he shed already be sick it, eh? thank you jesus it speak against every other blood uh, that would want to speak against your life my life yeah? your kids life merity be sick it, eh? be sick it, eh? holy ghost fire in the name of jesus god blood speak against every other blood so we not have to have no altar where we are put blood pan but we know the wicked they have Arthur that they put blood upon, even human being blood. So I'm going to talk about that. And I already feel the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit and his presence is here with me, bearing witness to what I'm going to be talking about today. Oh, they use blood to hold us down, not blood, the altar. And of course, blood on the altar to hold us down, to bind us in chains and fetters, to hold us in bondage. But today... We're going to tear down and break down and curse down and chop up and cut up and root down every evil author that is speaking against our life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I'm going to be coming from Deuteronomy 12 verse 3 and that's one of the scripture. It said, and he shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their grove with fire. And he shall hold down the graven image of their God and destroy the name of of them out of that place you see god is telling that you must break down the altars the pillars and burn on the grove with fire so we have to call consuming fire of the almighty upon altar they have even altar in some of the places we live they have even an altar and some of the job because this word satan is the god of this world and wherever you go there's an altar you might not see that's why you as a child of god your body should be the temple of the holy spirit that he could use you and wherever you go you should make that place be an author where you give god praise where you bow down and worship it even if it's on your job you could have a little place there that you go there to meet god that would be your altar because they have their altar there where they're getting money from because you see this world is nothing but satanic and demonic people run this world and rule over god people but in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the name above every name we tear down the altar god almighty every altar they even have at your job in the name of just speaking against you in the name of jesus you might not even see the altar but they have the altar there where they go to and they make evil declaration that you should stay in poverty that you should keep on working there for the same ten dollars or the blood that we say we tear down every altar we blow up every altar we trample and crush we defeat we pull them down tear them down and cast them down from our job in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth 
they have the altar dear in our bloodline from our mothers and our fathers house where they go and make evil decoration put our pitch up on the altar our kneel that's why you should go and get your nails done and stuff i'm not telling you well if you want to go you go but i don't get it done because they use your nail when they cut it and the chinese will put it on the altar you keep on coming back and some place you go to get your hair done you might not like what i'm gonna say but i'm telling the truth some place that you go to to get your hair done when you leave your hair there they use your hair there to make evil uh, declaration against it that you keep on coming back to take your money so you have to be careful because we live in a satanic demonic world even altar is that hospital that we go to doctors i said the altar is every single where every single where you go to place to get a car the altar is there at the car dealer every single where the altar is but god is telling us that we must burn down the altar burn down the pillar so we have to strike these altar with holy ghost fire call the consuming fire from heaven to burn down every heaver altar wherever we go wherever we step our foot and if there's a heart there in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we tear it down with the fire of almighty we strike it down with the lightning and thunder we tear down the pillar they grove in image every picture they have of us on the altar we say we're burning with fire we take back our picture every blood they have of us in the name of jesus christ making blood sacrifice at every evil heart against our life we say we use the blood of jesus that speak louder than able blood to nullify and demolish and crush and burn up every other blood in the name of jesus christ of nazareth see people we're not resting against flesh and blood but we're resting against principality power spiritual rule of darkness spiritual wickedness in high place so even in Deuteronomy 2, I'm going to give an extra. He said, He shall utterly destroy all their place wherein the nation which he shall possess serve their gods and upon the high mountain and upon the hills and under every tree because these people they go to the mountains they go to the hills uh, and they make evil declaration under every green tree. they still do it today you just don't see them because they do it while you're sleeping while you in a deep sleep uh, at 12 to the five o'clock hours uh, they dare at the high places uh, they're at the mountain chanting said this person in the name of jesus they're not going to come up to not go trying to block people blessing but in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we tear down every altar from the mountain we call the consuming fire we say let it catch fire and burn into ashes in the name of jesus christ I mean, we tear it down from the hills wherever they are at the hills making evil decoration right now we pull them down we tear them down we chop them down and bind them in chains and kick them to the bottomless pit in the mighty name of we tear down every image every statue every grove image every pillar we tear them down with the fire of almighty we strike them down with lightning and thunder we use the hammer of almighty and we hammer it and we set it on fire in the name of jesus we set it ablaze in the mighty name of jesus you see the altar is is what's stopping us in life and covenant and curse but i'm sticking to the altar because that's a whole different subject when you go to covenant and curse where they make at the altar and say this one i'm gonna turn to now this one shall have sickness this one should so the blood of jesus you have to tear down them altar from your mothers and your father's house you have to burn them down in order for you to be something in life you have to attack the altar take your children off the altar they have our children on the altar they have us on the altar they have our name on the altar then come take our clothes then come take our hair then come take some of them will come sleep with you at night i call incubus and some, they have you, you the man sperm on the altar in the marine kingdom so the man can't have no pit he's barren he's shooting blank and he can't get him wife pregnant many many years and he can't get him wife pregnant because he's shooting but they have his sperm at the altar they have the woman egg at the altar the juice when when she have an orgasm they have it on the altar you have to take back these stuff because they could manipulate us through these stuff that they put on the altar on us and they speak into the atmosphere we have to pull down tear down and cast it down because they are wicked and they are evil people the wishes the wizard the warlock they are wicked and they are evil people so you have to burn down altars in your neighborhood every territorial altar when you're looking at some neighborhood poverty it is the altars that need to be burned down and cut down and when you're burned down and you're cut them and you're children you're chop them down and mash them and crush them 
in the name of Jesus. Cast them down to the bottomless pit and cast down the images them that are giving power to these demon and devil in that territory to keep the people in bondage and sickness and in poverty. When you start do that, you start raise up holy heart of God. We see in the Bible, the man of God, wherever they go, they will raise up holy heart of God. And when they raise up holy heart, then God blessing can flow over your neighborhood. It could flow over your house. Your house should be an altar of praise for God. And in Deuteronomy 12, same 12, verse 27, it's an example of, you know, the devil is a cap, a copycat. He copy everything Jesus does. It said, And thou shalt offer thy burnt offering, the flesh and the blood upon the altar of the Lord thy God. And the blood of thy sacrifice shall be poured up upon the altar of the Lord thy God. And thou shalt eat the flesh. This is what the enemy does. God tell the children to do that. The Israelites to do this. But the enemy is a copycat. He pour blood upon the altar. Say, um... Uh, somebody will go to the obia man and say i want to kill this person he said okay get a cow and pour the blood upon the altar and he will pour the blood and then they will make them eat the flesh then they, they make evil decoration and start to hunt down that person life to so start to slaughter that person the enemy he don't know not a thing he just copy everything he see jesus so he's a copycat he's a loser he's a liar from the pit of hell that's what he does. So they go to altar and pour blood up an altar. Animal blood, cold blood. Some of them even go to the extent when they really want to take you out and pour human being blood up an altar. You have to remove every blood that's speaking against your life. Call for Jesus Christ blood. That blood is powerful than able blood. If able blood cry out from the earth and speak to God, how much more Jesus Christ blood speak? Against every other blood that would speak against my life, your life, your children's life, your family life, your husband life, your wife life. In the name of Jesus, Exodus 34 verse 30 says, But he shall destroy the altar, break the image, cut down the grove. Yes, you have to destroy the altars. The altars they have to destroy them for god to flow some people won't get no blessing until you attack those altars first you have to attack them from your bloodline your mothers and your father was tear down every generation altar and you know what run into your bloodline when you look at your bloodline you see pure cancer tear down the altar of cancer when you look and see everybody die um every two year people tear down the altar of blood sacrifice tear down the image ashtara Baal. Balaam the God and God is Magat, Gog, tear down these evil God, Queen of the Heaven, Queen of course, the Indian Ocean, tear down these marine altar, burn their blood bank, because they have blood bank where they collect our blood while we sleep in. And even sometimes when we give our blood ignorantly so we are donating, this is how they get all of our stuff to manipulate. We, we, we must wake up as a child of God. We must wake up and start being ignorant to the device of the enemy. We have to wake up. We have to wake up. We have to wake up and burn down this evil altar. The altar is stopping the blessing from God. Some neighborhood is dirt poor poverty. Where I used to live at in Massachusetts before I moved and I was living in the Ozen, which I give my testimony, they have me in mall and stuff. I had to tear down some altar to break free to get out that place. The the spirit in those house would want to keep me captive. You know, when I go there recently, all the prayer I did in that house I make it become an altar of God. Even my neighbor that used to smoke cigarettes had stopped smoking because I pray against it. And I stay, take power and authority and chop up and cut up and blood up them demonic spirit of cigarette smoking. Yes, that place. I go there the other day. I demand with them even tell them to court to fix that place. You know when I go there the other day, but I move out. I move out and the Lord bless me with that house which I give a testimony about that. 
when I go there the other day, you know, the people actually start renovating the place to God be the glory. I give God praise. All the prayer I praise that God let the people fix the places. We shouldn't be living in stuff like this in America. You're kidding? Place full of mold. Don't it? I pull on some art over there and I tear down and I chop up. And when I start reaching the spiritual around, cut them, draw for my sword and start chop up the wicked them. That old God people in a bandage. I say, God Almighty, prayer work. If me never know say prayer work, when me go there the other day and look how them fix up the place, them nice, renovate it. Me say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you deserve the glory. You is a prayer answering God. Nobody can tell me say you're not real. Because they fix up the one year after my move. Then fix up the place from all the prayer. And that place that I was living it become an altar of prayer. I had to tear down the dirty altar that was up in there. So we have to tear. We have to learn to do this. Child. When we move places, we have to sanify, clean it, plead the blood. And you have to cleanse out, uh, cleanse out our neighborhood and start tearing down as a child of God. We have authority. We have power. The wishes and wizards and water should be scared of us because of the power of God that is in us. It's a great is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We have power to cause destruction, to shut down forces of darkness to shut down witchcraft to shut down altar to silence and blood up every dirty heart that they have against our life we have power child of god because we don't know the power we have we have so much power he that even in the least of god he isn't he that's least in the kingdom of god is still greater than john the baptist and john the baptist was great we have Power to tear down these bail altar, the blood of Jesus, these altar that the government they might use, that the president they might use, that the evil politician, the wicked people that love to bow down and worship idolatry. We need to tear down the ill Mary, tear down the altar so God can move. Come on, them to start collapse in the north, east, west, and the south. One time I hear that some of the growing image was starting to break. We ask God to send his angels to start break them all over America. To Gulf the atmosphere and the regions of America because we live in the atmosphere we could take power authority and rule over it we don't have to accept nothing the devil should be subject to the child of God when we speak the devil should tremble and listen to us we shouldn't be scared of a demon and devil when we say get out of that person that demon run out because the authority we carry this is why the demons work with witches and wizard and warlock because the devil have no authority on this earth god give us power and authority to tread up and crush every serpent and scorpio and over all the power of darkness this is why they, they need human being to work on this earth it is illegal for the enemy to work on this earth because we are the one that have power they don't have a body you need a body to work on this earth that's why they use the witch wizard and warlock and the human being realize that that the devil have no power is a defeated fool jesus defeated him on the cross 230 plus years ago and i am defeating him today because jesus is my father and i carry the power that my father is because he said he has done great thing and greater things shall i done so i'm looking forward for the greater thing and i'm stepping into my greater thing so it's up to you if you want to step into your greater thing and take your authority and your blessing as a child of god i am tired of these demon and these devil my spirit is fire straight with them and i'm taking power and i'm taking my kids off every heart and i'm breaking every covenant and i'm breaking every curse and i'm setting my kids loose and i'm setting the people that is bound up in my neighborhood loose and i'm setting my family member that is bound up in chains loose in the mighty name of jesus and no demon and no devil and no demons and no body spirit from the pit of hell can stop me because i know the power i carry as a child of god 